Guys, hello again. Now, take a look at a Beckett oil burner once again. This time, I like to zoom in on the CAD cell. Who could tell me where the CAD cell is located on this Beckett oil burner? Remember to go ahead, undo the latch, go ahead and take the ignition assembly, which is on a piano hinge, and flip it up. Our CAD cell is nestled right inside there. Let's pull the CAD cell out just by an inspection. There you go. And we'll put that back in the position. CAD. CAD is short for what precious metal on the periodic elements table? Well, that would be cadmium. Very much like a photocell, this CAD cell is going to respond to light. If we were to take and cover up the CAD cell and create total darkness, we should have 100,000 ohms of resistance. On this particular Honeywell 7284U primary oil burner control, can anybody tell me the range of ohms we should see and what the control wants to see in regards to a bright flame and a dull flame? Well, that range would be anywhere from 400 to 1,600 ohms as per the Honeywell Corporation. 1,600 ohms? Well, that would be a dimmer flame, guys. If you remember when we did our live fire in the burn box when we went outside of the laboratory here, you probably recall we tried to make the fuel or fuel air ratio richer, so to speak. In that case, we cut off the air and kept the same amount of fuel. If you recall, the flame itself got to be very large, but it got to be a dark orange with a black tinge on the end of it. Well, that would be a duller or dimmer flame you'd probably approach 1,600 ohms there. In contrast, when we took and opened up the air bands and maintained the proper fuel-air ratio, you probably recalled that we were able to get under 400 ohms of resistance of the cat cell. And that would show we have a nice bright flame. That's what we want to see. Some of you guys, especially in the evening class, you guys were able to get down to 89 ohms of resistance on one of the boilers that you worked on. Outstanding job. Once again, as per the Honeywell Corporation, we're looking for a range of 400 to 1600 ohms of resistance from the CAD cell to report back to the primary oil burn control. Based on that reading, the primary oil burn control will make a decision to keep the flame going or to go ahead and lock out. 400 ohms, once again, least amount of ohms, brightest flame. In contrast, 1600 ohms is going to be a dimmer flame. This is going to be all be information on the NORA exam. Take care and stay tuned, guys.